So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create pixel style images using LensGo AI. You heard me right, this is another AI feature for you guys. And by the way, this is going to be the link, lensgo.ai, and this should be the landing page you're seeing also on your end. So basically with this one, we just need to log in. So let me just take you one step of a time here and log in with me. So I'm going to click on logging right there, click on it, and then it's going to ask me to continue with Google or continue with email. So since I do really have an account here, I'm going to continue with Google, use my dummy Google account, and wait for it to go back to the landing page. So welcome to LensGo AI. It's going to ask me for a gender, and then it's going to ask me my career. Let's just say for me, I'm going to go for artist. Click on start. Ask my name. Let's just use my pet name. Click on start right there. So I'm good to go. I just created my account with Lensco. Now to create Pixar styles, of course, we need to choose the templates. So for featured models, you're going to see this option that says Pixar style. Pretty straightforward, right? So click on it and you'll be good to go. And then this should be the editing platform of Pixar Style. Now with this one, on the left side, you're going to see this model. Of course, we already selected this one. Please focus your attention on the sections below. So image dimension, there's 1 is to 1, 3 is to 4, 2 is to 3, and so on and so forth. Number of images for your generation, it's really up to you. However, I'm going to go with 2. And text to guidance scale. This means that how strong the prompt image will be dependent on the text. For example, right here, how strongly your prompt is weighed. For example, I said an apple is color red. Or rather, an apple is color yellow. Basically, an apple is color red, but I, I put right here, 15, that apple will be yellow. Trust me. So for negative prompts, type in what you don't want to see in an image. Simply toggle this, and then type in here what you don't want to see. But this is actually not really necessary because it's pretty straightforward for Lensco. Let's try it out. So I have featured prompts right here. Let's try the first one. An angry woman troll in a green shirt and a color for tights from Trolley Dolls to Halloween. Click on start and then this specific Lensco AI will generate straightforwardly. Now since this is a featured prompt, how about we look for a specific one on this website called Prompt Hero. I already found this one that I like. I'm just going to copy this. Make sure that it's copied properly. And let's see if when we go back to Lensgo, if it will work the same quality. Of course, I'm not really assuming that it will work. But let's see, right? Now, since I'm still waiting for this to finish, I'll get back to you once it's done. So hello there. I'm back. So Lensigo just finished generating our image and from the prompt an angry one troll in a green shirt and a call for tights from trolley dolls for Halloween. This is the image and if you're really familiar with Disney, this is Fenelope from Wreck-It Ralph. Basically it just went to generate Fenelope with this prompt. So let's try it out with this one right here. Click on start and wait for this prompt to finish. So for this one, for the next one, I'm going to just choose one. So it won't take much time. Anyway, for this one, for the third prompt I'm going to try, I'm going to upload an image. So we don't just refer to the text, but we're going to use image to image. Here we go. So I'm just going to use this specific girl that I got from Mid Journey. And then let's just say an African, or let's just say here, a student in a classroom. Basically, just like that, it will refer to this photo and click on start. I have a reference image over here. So earlier, this is the prompt, right? That we got from the website of Prompt Hero. So these are the result. So it went to be a human lady from the versus this one right here. It's a hamster, the straight up hamster. And then when we go back to lens go, it's a really human lady. So this is going to be the new photo from the reference photo I got. Let me just compare it and sit it one by side. And then personally, I love Disney and I am loving this AI. So this is for comparison. So the prompt here is just a student in the classroom 
based on this photo right here on the right. Anyway, compare it by yourself right there and you're good to go. So that's how you use LensGo to create Pixar Styles AI. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please hit the like button subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.